New at five, nearly one week after dozens of students got sick from eating tainted Valentine's Day candy at school, police have finally provided samples to the GBI for testing. The incident you may recall happened at Sandtown Middle School on Kimbleton Road in South Fulton County. Tonight, parents are blasting the school district for a lack of communication. CBS 46's Adam Murphy is investigating. Parents have more questions and answers about what happened at Sandtown Middle School last week. I've been digging into this for days now, and I can tell you parents are finally sounding off online on this Facebook page, South Fulton Parents for Education. It's their latest attempt to get more detailed information. At the end of the day, kids are poisoned. Beth Harris is a member of the group South Fulton Parents for Education. She, like many others, want answers about what caused dozens of students to become ill at Sandtown Middle School on Valentine's Day. So when I'm seeing these messages coming in that people don't understand what's going on, I mean, my heart is bleeding for them because I can't envision being in that position with my child. South Fulton County Police have been investigating the questionable candy, which sent 28 children to the hospital, many of them reportedly hallucinating. Somebody's child could have died. That's huge. You know, are there any long-term effects of what chemical that they, the children ingested? It's a question other parents have been asking as well. Tierra Thompson said her daughter ate one of the tainted you know, lollipops, and a medical professional told her it may have contained a synthetic drug. I saw kids thinking they were driving cars. I mean, literally making the sounds of cars. They were going to restaurants, and they thought the administrators were their parents, and they were one little girl was playing basketball with a wet basketball. She kept saying they keep throwing me this. It was they were tripping. The kids were really all over the place. Bottom line, parents are furious that school officials have not provided any significant updates, only saying the district is doing a thorough investigation. It was just it was a mess. It was a, a total mess. And it still is because nobody has any answers for anything. Parents tell me they intend to meet with one of the school board members this evening to go over some of these issues and hopefully gather more information before the kids return to school on Wednesday. In the newsroom, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News. Thank you, Adam. CBS 46's Adam Murphy has been investigating the story since it first broke, and he is not letting up. We're going to continue to push for the truth and get answers for concerned parents. We have new details on a racist social media post at Kennesaw State University. First told you about this one last week. We've been investigating ever since. The message shared in an app showed a black student in class with a caption, need to call the Klan to solve this issue. The young man seen in that post is speaking out today and CBS 46's Ayana Crystal joins us now live. Ayana, tell us what the victim is saying. Well, the victim in all this is demanding that the student who posted the photo get expelled. And he tells me he is frustrated because racial incidents like this keeps on happening because there aren't any consequences here at KSU. To call for action by the university to address the racist and politically polarizing environment on campus. KSU United, the Cobb County chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and students stood alongside student Elijah John today, the most recent target of racist threats. They are now demanding action from Kennesaw State University's president. This is in no way an isolated incident as the university administration has been complicit and continuing to allow for a hostile and violent environment to fester and continues to sweep issues like these under the rug. A student posted this photo on the GroupMe app nearly two weeks ago, showing Elijah John in class with the caption, need to call the Klan to solve this issue. I'm disgusted by it, uh, just because you can't threaten someone's life, especially in a racial way. I think that's just awful. And so we have to take a stand against it. It's been very frustrating. John is demanding the student be expelled. If offenders, both students and faculty, know that there are definite and severe consequences to offensive discriminatory actions, it will act as a deterrent to future situations. The students have demands, strict sanctions and repercussions added to the school policy, an anti-racist education center, anti-racist and diversity training, and a diverse faculty and staff to be representative of the student population. But they allow offenders to go unpunished. KSU has dealt with several racial incidents in the past few years, but just last week there was a rumored threat shooting the black students on campus. Now students don't feel safe. It honestly is like terrifying. There is a point where there was another threat and that we were notified of and I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to leave my dorm. 
I will say several minority students have told me there is definitely fear and frustration with university officials. Now, KSU did say that they are investigating this incident last week. I've reached out for a response today, but I have not heard back. We are live at KSU, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.